if we translate all this logic that we've seen into front-end and back-end interaction, then, when the web panel is executed for the first time, from the front-end logic layer, the web panel logic is invoked in the back-end, where it's executed. The start event and the refresh event. And if the grid has a base table, then, within the logic, Genexus has transparently programmed a sort of for each command to access the base table, keeping the order and conditions specified in the grid. And for each record found, it executes the load event. Adding at the end, a line to the data to be returned to the front end. The line is also automatically added, and the developer doesn't have to specify a load command for it. At the end, the answer is sent to the front end, which will display the information on the screen. On the other hand, if there were no base table, this part of the code would not exist, but it would directly trigger the load event, just once, where the database access must be programmed explicitly. That's why the for each command programmed by the developer is displayed here. For a line to be loaded in the grid, the developer must explicitly indicate it with the load command, because Genexus cannot know what our intention is. After completing this, exactly as in the other case, the answer is sent to the front end, which will display the information on the screen. Now the user will interact with the screen. What will happen depends on the interaction. For example, if you enter a value in one of the filter variables of a grid's data, the back end will be invoked from the logic layer of the front end, passing it the values of the variables. There, the refresh and load events will be executed to reload all the information of that grid. Again, if the grid has a base table, then this will be the code that will be executed on the server. Otherwise, it'll be this other one. In any case, when the database is queried again, some records will not pass the filter. Again, the front end will be answered and will now display the grid with the resulting data, among which is the total trips variable. If we had an event whose code could be resolved in the client, such as changing the font to bold for form control, that code would be directly executed in the front end itself without any trip to the server. On the other hand, if it needs to be executed on the server, as in the example where we invoked a procedure to create a trip with the attraction, then from the front end, the back end is invoked where the associated event is programmed, which invokes the procedure that is executed there, inserts the records, and returns the execution to the event that called it. In this case, as the result of the procedure is assigned to a grid variable, then the front end is sent information indicating that it must change the value of that line, which is done there. But, if after the invocation it finds a refresh command, then, before sending a response to the client, it executes the refresh and load events. Here, we see the code for the grid with a base table. After that, it returns all the grid lines that meet the conditions to the front end again and the total trips variable, which the user sees with the expected values.